listen to me somebody Nisikize mtu This is absolutely beautiful Hii ni nzuri Freedom has come to the Christians in this nation Kwa sababu sasa uru umekuja kwa wakristo I am telling you now you know Ninawambia sasa mnajua He put in my heart Inge wakati wakua muka na kusoma neno la mungu na kuificha ndani yako Hii ita kusaidia kushinda majaribu ya zinaa katika maisha yako It is over with sexual sin in the church Dambi ya zinaa kanisani imeisha I have declared it is over now Nimetangaza ya kwamba ime isha In the name of Jesus Nasika jina la yesu Now listen to the word that you've hidden in the heart Ebu sasa sikia neno ambayo umeficha katika mwe wako Hebrews chapter 4 somebody Ebu tusome wa Ibrania Freedom has come to the house of the Lord Ukuru umekuja katika nyumba ya buwana No more slavery to sexual sin Hakuna tena utumwa No more sijui AIDS caught me here because I fell here Hakuna atiukimu imenipata hapa kwa sababu ni Hallelujah Hallelujah He says for the word of God is living and active Sharper than a double edged sword It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit Joyce and marrow It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart I keep it in my heart Hallelujah It is over Hallelujah If I keep the word of God in my heart It is over with sin He cannot allow me Kweli kabisa ukiweka neno la mungu katika mwe wako Dhambi imeisha wezi Listening to me now Imeisha hatu wa vijana muna nisikia sana I am telling you No more sexual sin in this church Nila kuambia kuna tena dhambi ya zina The blood of Jesus Dhamu ya Yesu The blood of the Lamb Dhamu ya mwana kondoo The pass of a Lamb Dhamu ya mwana kondoo wa pataka He did not pour for nothing Haku mwaga bure He poured for you Hali mwaga kwa hivyo yako So you can defeat sexual sin in this nation Hili uweza kushinda dhambi ya zina Katika taifa hivyo How can you fall to sexual sin Unaweza aje kwa nguka katika dhambi ya zina Kama tu Yesu wakufa The blood of Jesus Damu ya Yesu Is so warm Ni damu ya Yesu So powerful And he said When people tell you Oh no These days all men have fallen We all fall Wakati watu wana kuambia Oh apana Squeeze kila mtu wana The devil is a liar That is another doctrine Another gospel Shetani ni muongo Iyo ni njini ingine That is worshipping another god Iyo ni kumwabudu mungu mwine Our god is a holy god Mungu wetu ni mungu mtakatifu He has zero tolerance to sin Aku Kubali dhambi kabisa Especially sexual sin Asa dhambi ya surprise Mimi nilishanga When I saw the level of sexual sin in the church Wakati niliona kiwango cha dhambi ya zina karakani That is one thing that has brought the church down completely Hiyo ndiyo kitu ambacho kimeangusha The church The church cannot even address it Kanisa yuwezi yata kusema The servants even fear to preach it because they are fallen in one way or the other Hata watumishi wameogopa kuhubiri kwa sababu wata wawa wame But there is power somebody Kini kuna kwa that's why you see in the book of Proverbs the woman that was coming as sexual sin inviting the man say look I have dressed my bed with linen from Egypt the land of slavery unaone ya kwamba yule mwanamuke alikuwa kumwa So it's very important for us to be able to recognize that actually sexual sin is slavery. Sasa tunafata. That's why you see that a lot of people are addicted. Sasa njumana unaona watu wengi sana wamezoea. A lot of people get so much addicted to sexual sin and they cannot get out. Na watu wengi sana wamezoea. Even pornography they cannot get out of there. Hata zile filamu za kiushirati wawezi kutoka huko. They get addicted so much to many other things and they even related to alcohol and drugs and everything else wamezoea mambo mingi so that means the only way out actually will come from you realizing the fall that you are fallen that's why the lord is saying grieve you are supposed to grieve because the worst form of sexual immorality not even found among the heathen is seen among you christians you are supposed to grieve having realized you have fallen to the rock bottom and you are in slavery na unafaa ugundue ya kwamba and that's what the lord is asking from us na hiyo ni chinye mungu anatuuliza tufanye he is asking us to realize the slavery in sexual sin anatuuliza tujue i want you to understand that there is no pleasure in sexual sin kwamba but there is death in sexual sin lakini kuna kifo katika dhambi ya zina so it's extremely critical that you realize that you are entering death like the lord says that highway leads to the grave so it's very very important that you realize the fall and that's the only way out sasa ni vizuri ujue and he says that the truth will set you free na anasema ya kwamba ukweli utakuweka huru and the truth is that sexual sin is slavery and death na ukweli ni kwamba dhambi ya zina ni utumwa na kifo
So let us understand what he's saying here. He says sexual immorality is a no no no. Anasema hapa ya kwamba dhambi ya zina ni hapana 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 hapana. So he's asking you please persevere. I know that you're living like loot lived in Sodom and Gomorrah. Anasema tafadhali wewe stahimili kwa sababu unajua wewe unaishi kama lutu anaishi uh, jinsi lutu aliishi kule Gomorrah katikati ya mabaya. Receive the Holy Spirit and persevere and wait on me. Mpokee Roho Mtakatifu na uniongoje na unisubiri. Let me tell you the young girls you can maintain your purity and your virginity in church. Nobody should tell you that you don't have to maintain your virginity and purity. Wacha niwaambie wasichana wadogo kanisani mnawe wako. You can maintain your purity until the day you are married to that man. That man is coming. Don't worry, it's coming. The Lord will present him. Don't worry about that. Us- don't panic. You must Us- get HIV if you panic. Usijali Bwana anakuletea. And, and, and the Lord actually he knows every single thing you're going through. Na Bwana anajua kila aina ya shida ambayo unayapitia. And you servants of God make sure you teach purity. Make sure you teach abstinence. Na watumishi wa Mungu hakikisha kwamba abstinence mmefundisha utakatifu na usafi. Purity keeping away from out of marriage sex. Mfundishe kuhusu watu wajitenge kutokana na sin. Keep na, them out of sin. sin. Watu watoke katika dhambi ya zina. And when you teach that, na mkifundisha hayo, I just want to remind you of one thing. Nataka niwakumbushe kitu kimoja. There is another sin that was the research done. Kuna dhambi nyingine, kuna utafiti ambao ulifanywa that was looking at the churches where they taught abstinence. Enye ilikuwa inajaribu kuangalia makanisa ambayo wanafunza watu wasiende. And, and they found that those that were maintaining abstinence the youth na walipata ya kwamba wale ambao walikuwa wanakataa dhambi ya zina vijana to maintain their virginity wakijaribu kukataa na kulinda ubilindi kabisa na shetani na itumia na imeenea kanisa those that chose to live in abstinence wale ambao wamechagua kuishi bila dhambi ya zina the research found that majority of them were doing masturbation watafiti walipata ya kwamba wengi wao walikuwa wanafanya and masturbation is homosexuality na masturbation ni hiyo watu useme shida hii kanisani we have to teach them to abstain and abstain completely and persevere under the holy spirit tunafaa tuwafunze jinsi ya kuacha dhambi ya zinaa na waweze